All right, man, let's talk about Danny Jacobs and Jamal Charlo. Now, Danny uh, J- Danny Jacobs said he'll like his comeback fight to be uh, Jamal Charlo. So uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance. Get notifications, we go live or uh, drop a video. Yeah, sorry, they're going crazy. Um. But yeah, let's get to it. Um, let me pull this article up. Uh, I be wondering, hey, if somebody comes to that door, you really gonna f them up? Definitely Mason, not. He gonna go hide. Miles, I right, Miles will tear you up. So, uh, but yeah, here we go right here. He said Danny Jacobs wants a Jamal Charlo comeback fight. Now, real quick before I read this. Danny Jacobs probably need to retire. I don't know what Danny Jacobs bag hitting like. Um, that's the million dollar question. What that bag hitting like? Is he still fighting because he need money? Um, you know, that's 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 the million dollar question. Uh, that's the million dollar question. Do he still need some money? You know, and if you know he needs some money, then hey, he needs some money. But uh, it's a fight that should have happened long ago. You know, when Jamal was calling him out, Danny told him that he touching M's and he ain't, you know, Jamal ain't touched the M yet and the timing wasn't right. And then kind of right now, they're on the same trajectory right now, even though Jamal Charlo remains to be undefeated and Danny Jacobs is, uh, you know, uh, lost a couple fights, whatever. But, you know, right now, Jamal Charlo's stock is the same as Danny Jacobs' stock. His losses outside the ring – you know, his losses outside the ring pretty much supersede, you know, you know, super, you know, kind of like, you know, super, you know, it's on par. I ain't going to say see, supersedes, but it's on par. And what, uh, uh, you know, Danny Jacobs then went through in the ring with some of his questionable losses. I think it's a fight that still can happen. I think mean, he's still winnable on both sides. Um, He got a built-in animosity. One last payday for Danny Jacobs. Could be one last payday for, uh, you know, for Jamal Charlo. I'll be interested in it as long as they ain't put no... $80 price tag on it. it should be on regular showtime or regular the zone, you know, and Eddie Hearn, like I continue to say, um, Eddie Hearn down bad out here. Eddie Hearn down bad out here, dog. Y'all don't understand how bad Eddie down. Eddie ain't got no fighters. He ain't got no Canelo. And if Joshua about to get knocked off, Danny got knocked off. You know, he, 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 he down here, man, you know, you know, city boy Eddie down here bad. You know, I'm surprised Leonard Ellaby ain't eating that shit up. Cause cuz down here super duper bad. He down bad, cuz. So I gotta continue to say with cuz. It's just to the point where um it's just to the point where um he gotta make some jump. He gotta make some jump. So um but uh but yeah, it's still a fight I'm interested in. I like to know if y'all would still kind of be interested in it. Um, you know. But uh let's get to it. Let's see what he said. He said Jacob's looking for the right fight. He said, I'm not beefing with anybody, but everyone knows I've been waiting for years for Jamal, uh, for a fight Jamal and Charlo. Daniel Jacobs said he said that's the fight I still want. I don't know. What's going on with it? I'm ready for the fight mentally, physically. We'll see what happens in the future. I got one or two more in me. I'm looking for the real, for the right fight. I ain't looking for no step aside, no fill-in fight. It's been a few years since I've been calling out people and I haven't received any feedback. I'm just waiting for the right fight. But like I said, the time will come. So when is the last time we've seen this joker in the ring? It's been like, was that the pandemic? He lost Angela and got his ass whooped. Let's see when last time dog was in the ring. Um, this box rec page ain't even working. <laughs> um, last February, February 2022. So it's almost going on uh, two years. Damn near, you can believe we had we more than halfway through the uh, we halfway through the uh, year already. More than halfway through. You know, you know, you know, 
So, but I mean, yeah, I think I want to see that fight. And he said he got two, one or two more fights left in him. I guarantee you, if he win those fights, that it's gonna be three or four or five more then. So, yeah, I mean, and and and, and Danny's is uh, I don't even know how old Danny is. Hold on, Doc Shore don't even see how old dog. He's thirty six years old. So yeah, it's about time to step away for Danny. You know, get some extra funds on top of uh, get some extra funds on top of that. But I do get some extra funds on top of that. I straight do that. Take that little last fight money, invest it, and then ride off in the sunset. And that's exactly what he should do. But yeah, it's a fight that people still want. But Jamal and Charlo, you know, that every time every time a, a month go by about Jamal and Charlo not fighting, I think about his wife saying, "What's well, ex wife saying? He y'all he'll never fight again." He she says she he'll never fight again. She kept saying that. So every time I hear her, you know, I think about him staying out the ring. You know, and people don't know how mentally challenging what he's going through is, bro. Somebody you've been with, you've been with since high school. And like I tell y'all, women have unre they have unreasonable expectations for men. They don't care how men think. They they want men to think like they think, and it's not gonna happen. You want me to bang you? I'm a one person, three percent, five percent man. I'm six feet or above. I got money. I'm in shape. Uh, I got some celebrity status. And you think I'm just about to be banging you? This make that make sense. You just got to be happy being on the side. Or you the main, but, you know, I'm going to have my fun. Come on. Until I'm unfulfilled fucking these hoes. That's just what it is. <laughs> it, might, it might sound callous to women, but shit. You give a woman everything, she's still going to leave. You give her a little bit, she probably going to stay trying to get everything. Yeah, check that bar out real quick. But, you know, but what he's going through is, 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 is mentally taxing, though, for sure. It really is. It's mentally taxing. And some people say, man, just, you know, you got to be on some player shit. You name then just like that ain't been through nothing. They ain't been through nothing. They can't tell you nothing. You know, they can't tell you nothing. Ain't been with one woman for real, so they they can't they can't tell you nothing, bro. Believe me, can't tell you how women work. You could do it all right, and you can you can have you could be less successful than do than a person that do it all wrong. Check that out, real. That's what I said. You can do it all right and still be less successful than a dude that did it all wrong. But as far as that fight, they both on the same trajectory. You know, Jamal need a high-profile fight like this to boost him into the Canelo fight. He need a good tune-up, the whole thing. He says, you got to remember who was the first one to punk him, Jacob said, in reacting to Jamal Charlo being slapped by Caleb Plant with respect. That's my uh, that's my man. That's my son. <laughs> I think it's a good fight. I'm looking forward to a good outcome. I know the fans are going to win. That one, I can't pick a winner, but both guys are talented. Said Jacobs about Canelo Alvarez, Jamel Charlo next next month, September 30th. That's a good fight. I like both guys. Said Jacobs about Benavidez and Demetrius Andrade. Dave Benavidez, it is. I've I known Boo Boo such a long time, and I know what he's capable of. And I still don't know if we've seen all of Benavidez yet. He's an extremely talented fighter. That's be that's that'll be a telling that that'd be a telling tale for both fighters, I feel like. He said, I love Crawford. I think he's the most innovative, creative, most all-around put-together fighter that there is today. He's definitely pound for pound, said Jacobs to about Terrence Crawford wants to go 68 and challenge Canelo Wild versus Jamal Charlo winner. So if he wants to do something like that, he should take it serious. I know that he can do some damage. I'm just glad that boxing is cracking down on the sport. And obviously, we put our lives on the line. We want to be healthy and safe as possible, said Jacobs. Uh, react to heavyweight. Helene is testing positive. Okay, I ain't getting into that. Don't really care. So, you know. But um, yeah, everybody like Danny Jacobs, man. He's a hit, highly touted amateur, uh, a knockout artist in the amateurs. Um, you know, he had Olympic dreams. He was one of Al Heyman's first amateur, you know, groups that he signed out of the amateurs. You know, he was just one of the first amateur class that he signed. So, like I continue to say, man, um, you know, Al love him. 
And I love him. So, um, and I love him. So, but I mean, yeah, this is a fight. They should they make this fight then this year, like it's probably the best year you're gonna see in boxing. You know, we seen in boxing in a while. For sure. For sure, one of the best years. So for sure one of the best years in boxing. So yeah, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, Bellasan, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Um, other than that, peace.